welcome back to Global Music Tuition. Today I'm going to be doing a brand new song by Taylor Swift. Uh, this is Cardigan. comes out on Friday. Uh, the album's actually out now, so a lot of people have bought this already. It's got loads of views on YouTube. Um, a lot of people have been talking about how it's got a, a different feel to it. Um, a lot of the songs are a bit slower than normal, so it's not so poppy. Um, this one actually features a piano, so I've kind of adjusted this for the guitar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you just the basic version of this, so you can just strum along it and play it with the chords. And then I'm going to show you additionally to that, this little bit she does on the piano. So you can put that to the guitar. You can either choose to do that or not do that, but I'll just show you the strumming part first of all. Okay, so the actual rhythm to this um, is just going to be the same all the way through the whole song. So, so the actual pattern is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay. Okay. First chord is a D minor. I'll show you the chords first, and then I'll show you the, the little bit over the top of it. So it's a D minor. G. F major, G, D minor, G, Okay, so they're the chords for the verse section. So all of the verses are going to have this. There's three verses, I believe, or possibly another one at the end as well, actually. So the little bit over the top, so you can either decide to do this or not. If you're capable, it sounds really nice, I think. So it just goes... So it's open E string. Third fret. Capo is on the third fret. So I'm going to call these out as if the capo is not there. So this would be the third fret. And then to the first fret. D minor. G major. And then I'm playing the F here this time. Back to G. Okay, so you can either decide to do that or not. Um, yeah, that kind of carries on all the way through the song as well. So you can play that to the C section as well, the chorus section. Okay, so the chorus section chords are going to be a C major. G major. F major. G major. Okay, so that's the chords for the chorus. Then it goes back and does another verse, so that's going to be the same chords. Then it does another chorus again after that. Okay, so the same chords again. And then it's got what I'm going to call a post chorus. So it does this section after the chorus but before the bridge. So it goes to an F major, A minor, C major. So that's going to be what we're going to call the post-chorus section. And then it goes to the bridge, okay? So the bridge is similar. So it's going to be an F major again. A minor. C major. F major. Okay, so that's the actual bridge. So it's very similar to the bit after the chorus, uh, but it's got a C major instead of a G there. Okay, so they're the main sections of the song. So the actual order of the song is going to be a verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Then it does the post-chorus, which is the F, A minor, C, G. And then it goes to the bridge, which is an F, A minor, G, F. And then it goes back to another chorus, another verse, and then it repeats the post-chorus, which, which is the ending of the song. It then fades out on that post-chorus. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any questions on this, just drop me a comment below. I'm happy to explain any of that to you. Brand new out, so I've literally just learned it myself now. So if there any anything errors in that, just let me know and I'll get those corrected. Thanks for watching.